Hi, my beautiful Pisces. What's up, you guys? It's Jessica, and it's Trusting True to Roll. Thank you guys so much for all your love and support to the channel, and thank you guys so much for supporting my second channel, TTT Intuitive, and going over there and going ahead and subscribing and checking out some of those pick a card readings. I appreciate all the love and support that you guys show to me. Thank you guys so much for all your lovely comments, likes, donations, and also for trusting me with your truth, okay? Anything you need to know about this channel is in the description box below. I am open for personal readings, you guys. So let's get into this reading. You guys know that my daily readings could be a couple of days in advance or a couple of days um, behind. Hopefully it helps and assists you when you are hearing it, you get what you need out of this message. So Pisces, let's get into this. For some of you guys, this is going to be about love. I'm not even going to lie. For some of you guys, I feel strongly this is money and finances, okay? So whatever it is that resonates with you, put yourself where you need to be in this reading and, you know, let's get into this. So Pisces, I'm seeing that you're procrastinating, um, and you are not being fully committed, okay? So there's a lot of procrastination in your energy. There's this non-committal type of energy. You're not being fully committed to something here. It could have to do with your money. It could have to do with finances. Um, it could have to do with some type of practical opportunity that you want for yourself. You are growing complacent, okay? And you're not applying what you know or you're not applying these skills, okay? Now, maybe it's becoming too tedious for you. Maybe it's becoming just so hard to keep up with in the day-to-day. -day. Maybe it's just unmanageable. Like, you just don't want to manage this anymore. It's becoming a little unmanageable. But what I'm seeing is that if you continue to plant this seed, I feel like it could take you to the top or top of, or it could take you to the top of whatever it is that you are desiring for yourself, whatever it is that you are trying to um, bring into your physical world, okay? You're trying to materialize something here for yourself, but you have started to procrastinate. You started to be kind of like a little lazy, a little lethargic. That's the energy I'm getting, kind of like complacent. And yeah, that's what I'm seeing. So just know that if you get serious about this, this really could take you to the top. This really could take you to a higher level, okay? Some type of higher level here. Um, to the top of the food chain, top of the pyramid, you know what I'm saying? All the way up. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up, right? So this is what I'm seeing, okay? Be careful because I feel like you're overlooking some type of grand opportunity for yourself because you're only looking at it one way. Like, you're telling yourself, it's only one way to do this. It's only one way to get this. Or, um, So yeah, this is what I'm seeing. You may be focused on other opportunities that you know you felt like you're looking at other, because this is the four of cups. So you're looking at other things and you're seeing how it may have not worked or it just did not, um, it just doesn't look like it's going to work, right? It doesn't look like, it doesn't feel like it's going to work. So you're kind of overlooking it. So there's something that you keep overlooking because you think that it's not going to work for you. And you, or you may be telling yourself that there's only one way you can do this. Or for some of you guys, you're so focused on the missed opportunities or the opportunities that you don't have that you're not realizing that you actually have a good opportunity in front of you. Okay. Yes. You may even be delaying producing something. That could really be very lucrative for you. I don't know. It's like you guys are missing. And see with this Ace of Pentacles, this is, this is a missed opportunity. Four of Cups, it's missed opportunities after missed opportunities after missed opportunities. So what's coming towards you is constant missed opportunities to be financially abundant. You keep missing out on this financial abundant that's trying to come in. But because you're not staying committed, because you're not... Oh my goodness, what's going on? You guys are not staying committed. You're not staying committed. And you're constantly co procrastinating and you're not applying something or applying the skill or applying what you know or applying the knowledge, okay? Because you're not doing that, that opportunity keeps flopping. It likes, it's a flop. It's a flop. It keeps flopping. And it's like all these abundance that could have came in, an opportunity for solid, like something very abundant for yourself, especially financially, or even maybe even in love, you guys. Maybe this is even love. Maybe this is something really solid here in love. Maybe a real solid connection, a real solid opportunity. If it's not money, it's like, because you're not 
you're not staying committed to something that you're supposed to be doing, a skill or something that you be, need to do. So let me give me give you an example. So the higher here, it's a higher learning, a higher way of learning, a higher learning. You know, like you know, um, okay, I, I've learned this and I know that I need to do it this way. But I know I need to think this way. I know I need to work on this. I know I need to apply this skill that I've learned. I know that I need to love myself first. I know that I need to not be so hard on myself. I know that I need to, you know, let go of my ego. Whatever it is that you have learned here, right? I know that I need to um, let go of expectations, things like that. But you're not applying it. So you keep missing out on this abundance. You keep missing out on this opportunity. If it comes to money and finances, okay, I know that just because I don't see something, right? Look at this, this eye here. This is at the top of the pyramid. Just because I may not see something right now materializing, I know that I need to continue to produce something. I know that I need to continue to do something, um, apply something, but you're not doing it. You become maybe a little bored. Maybe you feel like it's just too hard. Again, a lot of procrastination with it because you're not seeing something happening right away maybe. And so you're missing out on these, uh, this, op this big opportunity for money to come in, abundance, all of this thing so that it can actually materialize here for you in the physical. So the advice that I have to give to you, Pisces, is that you need to get focused, honey. Get focused on this, okay? Apply what you know. Apply what you have learned. Apply something here. Produce something here, okay? Stop overlooking this opportunity for you to have prosperity. Something here is right in front of your face. It's right here for you to have um, it's right here for the taking, but it's like, you're not taking, um, you're not taking hold of this opportunity. That's what I'm saying. You're not taking hold of this opportunity, whether it's in love, whether it's money, whether it's finances, you're just not, you're, you're not taking, sorry, spirit. You're not taking advantage. Spirit is wanting me to tell you, you're not taking advantage of these opportunities in front of you. Okay. Uh, for some of you guys, you're not taking them seriously. You're not taking something very seriously. So get serious, Pisces. This is prosperity for you. It's here. But you just have to be aware of it. 